Muslim and civil rights groups are speaking out against the most recent reports of Islamophobia in the Federal Bureau of Investigation. In a press conference outside FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C., speakers laid out their grievances. We were dismayed by the latest revelation of FBI trainings that, um, uh, that are based on Islamophobia, stereotypes, profiling, um, and ignorance. Um, it's just the latest in revelations of FBI's uh, training and investigative practices that target people based on their religion or their political beliefs. Most recently, reports have found the FBI hiring agents for its counterterrorism training program who had a history of making Islamophobic comments. Remarks in training sessions include stating Al-Qaeda isn't the security threat but Islam itself, calling the Prophet Muhammad a quote, cult leader, and alleging that zakat or required Islamic charity giving is a quote, funding mechanism for combat. It sends very strong um, strong and wrong kind of message to the community that if you come to the mosque, if you pray, uh, if you're trying to be a good Muslim and a good American citizen, then, then uh, you know, we don't trust you. Previous complaints about Islamophobic trainers have met with little success. Last year, we wrote a letter about an Islamophobic trainer being used at an FBI-led event in Tidewater, Virginia. Uh, the letter we got back didn't address our concerns about the specific bias of the trainer. It simply said the man had been invited due to his status as a best-selling author. So unfortunately, it was nowhere near a satisfactory response to our concerns. Speakers are demanding a congressional investigation into prejudicial elements within the FBI as well as other abuses. There really needs to be a thorough investigation to uncover all the abuses we don't know about. You know, I'm just talking about the few that burst through the secrecy. But there is obviously a, a litany of problems at the Bureau of Investigation, and I do hope that Congress does something about it. Last week, the Council on American-Islamic Relations sent a letter to FBI Director Robert Mueller addressing its concerns, but has yet to receive a response. Since 9-11, Islamophobia in law enforcement has become a growing trend, particularly in the past few years, leading to fears that it will, in time, become an institutionalized norm. Marjan Asi, Press TV, Washington.